hi guys welcome back to the channel if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down below it's absolutely free and it helps the channel grow in today's video i'm going to teach you guys how to make a side ruched dress i have a couple of other um ruched skirts tutorials on the channel if you haven't seen those videos then the link will be in the description box down below but in today's video i'll teach you guys how to make a ruched um, a side wrist dress. The top part of this side wrist dress is going to be a cowl neck. The top part of this um, side wrist dress is going to have a cowl neck. So um, I'm going to upload that cowl neck tutorial next week Saturday. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. <laughs> So um, basically you want to draft a basic skirt pattern. Um, so I'm just taking a piece of fabric. I'm actually using um, three yards of fabric for this because I'm making a dress. I folded this in half and then I drew my baseline. From that baseline, I'm just marking my hip line, which is um, nine inches because this is going to be a dress. If I was making a, a skirt, then this would have been eight inches for my hip line. And then I went ahead to just and mark my full length so the full length of my dress and i'm just extending those lines now the reason why i mark the full length of my dress is not because i want a full length dress is because i want to have enough room and um, room for the ruching to take this the for the skirt to ruch all the way up okay now at the baseline i just divided my waist measurement by four marked that and added one inch allowance at the hip line i also divided my hip measurement by four Place that on the hip line and added one inch allowance. Now I'm just measuring that um, length. That's the hip. Um, that that um, place I marked at the hip line, including the allowance. I just measured that and then I just um, marked the same thing all the way down the skirt. And I'm just connecting those lines. Or those points and then I'm cutting along that line Taking that piece out, I'm just taking another piece of fabric and I'm folding it again so I can cut the back piece. I'm placing the front piece on top of the fabric, the folded fabric, and I'm just going to cut along that line as well. But I left one and a half inches allowance, zipper allowance at the center back. Just replicating those lines on the back piece. And I'm just going in by one inch. Just so that the waist part is, you know, cinched. And I'm just going to cut open that allowance. Now you notice that the bottom part of my skirt is straight. The skirt is actually straight from the hip. And that's because you want... The skirt to be free enough for it to rush up if you make it pencil it's going to be too tight that you wouldn't be the skirt wouldn't be able to rush up so please take note of that i'm just marking the line i'm going to go ahead and sew at the center back so moving on to my sewing machine i'm just taking my two back pieces I place them right sides facing and then I'm just joining both of them at the center back with about half of an inch seam allowance all the way from top to bottom. And when I open it up, this is what we have. 
flipping it to the wrong side again i'm just going to go ahead and mark my dots so from that um, seam line at the center back i'm taking four inches to the right and four inches to the left then the length of my dart is five inches long And I'm just um, taking, you know, the dart, that part I want to make the dart. I'm just taking it at that point and I'm just sewing my dart down. I'm doing the same thing for the other side as well. And this is what it looks like. Now taking my front piece, I'm just folding it in half and then I'm taking my actual measurements. Remember at the beginning when I took my measurements, I had added that extra one inch. So now I'm taking my actual measurements divided by four. So my waist measurement divided by four, I marked it at that top part. And then my hip measurement divided by four, I marked it on the hip line. Then from that point, I just marked a straight line all the way down. Now taking my back piece again, I'm just placing my front piece right sides facing on top of my back piece and then I'm just, um, you know, sewing that down. Now, I know that I've had a couple of other, um, I have other couple, um, other sketch tutorials on my channel and most of you ask me why I don't put a dart in on the front part of my skirt and that's because I personally do not like it. I feel like there's really no point putting a dart in front but if that's what you like and this is what you want to do then definitely go ahead and put a dart in on the front piece now turning the skirts to the right side this is what we have i'm not going to go ahead and turn it to the back and then open up the zipper allowance just a bit so that i can attach my um the top part of my um dress so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to basically align all the points. I'm aligning the center back there. I'm also going to make, make sure that I align the dots. So the dots should align. The dots for the back of the top and the dots for the back of the skirts. Because I didn't put a dot on the front piece of the top as well. Also, the side seams of both of them should also align. So I'm just going to go ahead and pin all those points all the way around. So it's easier for me to sew it. Taking to my sewing machine, I'm just sewing both pieces all the way around with half of an inch seam allowance. Now, once I'm done, this is what it looks like. Now, instead of, if you're making a skirt, all you have to do is just add your band instead of like a top. And also add your zipper i've also gone ahead to add a zipper on my dress as well now turn your skirt or your dress to the wrong side and you want to make sure that you turn your skirt in a way that you are now looking directly at the side seam okay you can see the side seam here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to um you know i've already gone ahead to weave you know the allowances so i went ahead to just move them to one side and then sew them down okay so i move both allowances to the side so either you're moving it to the right side or the wrong or the left side however you want to move it just move it to one side and then sew it down okay so this is the side seam and this is what we have can you see that i moved it to one side and i sewed it down now I'm going to measure my elastic. I'm using this half inch wide elastic. Now the length of my elastic is the length that I want my skirt to be. Obviously this is going to be a, a short skirt. So I want my skirt to be about 19 inches long. So that's the length of my elastic. I simply tied it on a broomstick or you can use a safety pin, whichever one. And then I'm just inserting that elastic through that channel. So folding your, your allowance to one side and sewing it down would create a channel where your elastic can actually pass through okay so all the way to the top now at the top you can see that it's closed all you have to do is just simply create a tiny slit or a, or a notch 
with your scissors so that you know the elastic can come out through you know that side and then once it comes out all you have to do is just hold it together with the um, skirt and then just tack it down to make sure that it's secure you also want to tack the bottom part of the elastic and make sure that it's secure as well and this is what it looks like I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the other side as well. This is what it looks like guys. This is the back. And this is what the side looks like. You can see that ruching. I'm going to show you guys the full look in a minute. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, I really love how the dress turned out. Hope you guys enjoy this video. For the cow neck parts, like I mentioned, I'll upload the video for how to make this cow neck top in my next tutorial, which is going to be next week Saturday. So definitely stay tuned for stay tuned for that. Subscribe and uh, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.